Greetings. Welcome to Little Steps. My name is Tim, and you can contact me at how do I do this zero one at yahoo.com. Thanks for tuning in today. We're going to cover a few basic lessons today on the Paint.net program. Now, be aware that the Paint.net program is a free program. You can get it at Paint.net um, for free download. You can also get some add-ons on that website. Once you've downloaded it and you've installed the program, you can go here. You can click on the Help drop-down, and it will give you the actual option to donate, which I do encourage you to do that. These people work very hard for this program. They're trying to make it better. The program is open source, which means you are free to use the, the, the program. The plugins, however, are not always free. Um, so please, if you do download the, the plugins, be aware that these people are working very hard to make some of these options available to you and some of the advanced features in this program available to you. So please try and support them. If you can send them a donation, I do encourage you to do that. Um, the reason I'm strongly urging you to do this is because if you go out and you pay for the Photoshop program or the photo paint programs, they do incur quite a bit of cost. I, I understand that they are in the neighborhood of over seven to eight hundred dollars for the paint shop program. I do not advocate at any point stealing software. However, if you can find a way to use software uh, more effectively and less expensively, I do encourage that as well. If you, on the other hand, use the software every day and you're making a living at it, please go out and buy the, the commercial software. It's better for you and it does support the people who work very diligently to make these options available to you. In my case, I don't use this program every single day. I certainly can't afford because I'm not a graphics artist and I'm not doing this kind of work for a living. Um, I can't advocate spending that kind of money and I wouldn't advocate that you do that as well. I do recommend, however, you support these people. Um, pay for whatever it is that you're using and or send donations if you can and encourage them and support them. They do work very hard to do this. Anyway, back to the program. The first things I want you to note are again the toolbox or the tool drop down. Now you will note the tool drop down is available on your menu bar. You can't always see your menu bar in this particular window because I'm using this this free capture program so be aware of that what you can't see is in fact this window right here for your color box or your color selection window your history window and your layers window when you're dealing with the paint.net program be aware these windows um, while they're also available, they also have shortcuts. You may not be able to see what I'm talking about on screen, so please bear with me. I'm trying to reference this, and I will make a note when I'm changing a color, which window I'm opening up, what window I'm using, and how it's going to affect what's happening on the screen. Because sometimes you may not be able to see what's going on. Again, I'm referencing the color window, or the color selection window, the layer selection window and the history selection window. Generally speaking, I haven't used the history selection window very often, and that gets to my next point. If you're using the program, um, you'll notice it looks rather cluttered this way. I tend to use my shortcut keys, which I've encouraged you to learn and use in the earlier series of uh, the MS Paint program. Become familiar with your drop downs. Become familiar with the other things. Um, anyway, to re emphasize what we're talking about here, um, the Paint.net program is free. Please go and support the people there. If you can donate, please do so. Um, also, 
support the plugins. The plugins you're going to find are very useful and they're very fun. The more plugins you use, um, the better you're going to enjoy the program because you will find that there's many things you can do in this program that just you just can't do it with the MS Paint program. The MS Paint program is a basic program, but you can do an awful lot with it if, if you learn the tools correctly. Be aware that this program, uh, the Paint.net program, is free, but there are some add-ons that you can get that are really cool. Anyway, the menus that you're going to be using and these, these windows that you're going to be using, uh, one of the key ingredients or the most important you're going to have to deal with is the, the layers window or the layers option. The MS Paint program works on a single layer premise. Um, you open up a window, you put something on the canvas, and you save your work. If you utilize the paint program creatively, you can open up several paint windows and you can use the several paint windows to stack your work on top of each other carefully and you can come up with some effects that are similar to the, the stacking or layering of these, these options here using this drop down right here. Be aware that the cellulose uh, sheets that they used when they were first animating the Disney series or, or Disney movies is the same principle that we're using in the paint programs that we use today. Your Photoshop and this particular paint.net program um, use the same cellulose theory, if you will, or, or the basic concept of it to stack layers of clear sheets and then utilize each sheet as an independent picture to stack everything up and make it look like a three-dimensional shot or a three-dimensional picture. Um, so please be aware of that and please, please become familiar with the fact that that's what we're doing. Um, again, I will try referencing the different layers. I will try referencing uh, specifically the colors and how they interact together. You can't see the, the drop down on the actual program if I switch over to it, but you and your colors have your primary and secondary colors. You will need to learn to manipulate these colors, learn to use your, your prefab colors, learn the different options here at the bottom for your, for your layers, um, learn how to stack and view them, and believe it or not, as you change the order of each stack on your layering, it will dramatically change the effect as well as um, let me step over here. If you go to the paint program here and you click on a layer um, using your drop down, you can click on the layer properties. Now you will notice we're in layer 2 and I can go over to layer 3, click on the drop down, it shows us layer 3 and you've got many options such as the opacity of each layer and different effects that you can use such as glow, overlay, light and darken. Um, each of these is going to have an effect. Please be aware of this. There's so many more options in this program that it's literally enough to boggle your mind. I'm trying not to overwhelm you here with this program and the basics, but I do want you to understand the, the concepts of you are going to be working with this program and it does constitute using a layering system. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's going to be very confusing. And if you're unfamiliar with your basic tools and your tool drop down menu, please go review the, the MS Paint series that I've done. It really will help you if you understand the basic concepts of the tools and how they work, how they put um, pixels on the canvas. Anyway, please review this. Uh, please enjoy my series. And please tune in for more of my videos. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.